Sometimes when the road ahead of you is a difficult one, it can be easy to lose sight of everything you have to be grateful for. When feeling pushed back from the universe and what seemed to be every aspect of our lives, it felt necessary to take a moment and appreciate not only the beauty of the surroundings we live in, but also reflect on what we so far have been able to achieve. A realization then hit me. I've based my perception of myself off a self-perceived notion of not being good enough, making me semi-blind to the many blessings which have already come our way. Jess and I's relationship has only become stronger as we face the daily challenges of this lifestyle together and lifting each other up when either one of us is feeling low. We are truly blessed to have our families firmly behind us, watching us grow and turn into what we set out to be. But none of this could be said without all of you. To all our subscribers and supporters who have decided to follow in this journey with us. To all our neighbors who now are in our hearts as some of our closest and dearest friends. To anyone who believes in us giving us the courage to face each new day knowing everything will be okay. For that we shall be forever grateful. Welcome to Off Grid and Growing. everyone. A friend of mine uh, was hunting yesterday and got a six-point buck that he very graciously gave to Jess and I. My neighbor's over here helping me dress it. We're going to process it. I'm going to keep the hide and make some things out of it. And we're going to have some deer meat that lasts us for a little while. So very blessed that we got some free food given to us and we're going to make the best of it. <sighs> Definitely not a professional at this. Luckily, I've had my neighbor's help here show me how to process a deer. Next one will be better though. Follow the bone. Follow the bone. Follow the bone. Someone had made a comment before about why we weren't 
using joist hangers and the reason being is this is rough cut wood and it's actually true two by so we couldn't find any joist hangers that actually fit so we're tacking these boards underneath as a as a support but we didn't get as far as we wanted today babe because of the the deer took a little bit longer to process than expected i get it but the deer is nice to have it is i'm glad we have some food <laughs> But um, uh, can we still do the mushrooms? We can still go do the mushrooms. We have enough. I'm items. pretty eager to show you all what we're about to show you. So let's go do that right now. All right, let's go. Okay. Come back to this tomorrow. If it don't rain. It's really windy. This is hardwood sawdust we got from a local mill that we are going to make a bed and, and use rainwater with some of the mushrooms we've been growing to inoculate the sawdust. So hopefully next year, we have a whole bunch of fresh mushrooms that we grew. <laughs> yeah, it's like a little mushroom farm. A little mushroom farm. Yeah. yeah. And you can see we're placing down. it back here where we cleared out for our shaded area for summer. I mean, we got a lot of different mushrooms growing in different ways from uh, the inoculated logs, which these are right here, to substrate bags that we have inside and I'll be showing you later on. Yeah. Now this sawdust is all from green hardwood, which is what you need when you're starting out with the inoculation of these mushrooms. But we're going to show you what we're going to do. Then something that all of you can do at home too, if you're interested in growing some mushrooms. <laughs> I don't know. You like that? Oh, it's like the border. That's the border. A, yeah, that's pretty nice. Okay. Get out of there, Kita. Get. Get, 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 get. She didn't like it very much. Oh, she sneezed her oh, face right into it. <laughs> <That's all. laughs> Kiki, you don't know about sawdust. Go out. Go of it. Out, 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 out. Come on. Get out. Stay out. You stay out. You stay out. Oh, you're so pretty. Oh, you're so pretty. Oh, you're so pretty. I like it. Okay. <laughs> I mean, whatever. I'll make a better border, but for now. Yeah. Let's go get some more sawdust to put in. Okay. Watch out for that. No, is that hard wood around there? Yeah. Empty. The great thing about sourcing this locally at a mill is we got all this for free. That's great. It's pretty sawdust. It's very pretty sawdust. That's why I thought we paid for it. It's all oak? All oak. Nice. These are the inoculated logs that are, I believe have shiitake in them, if you can see the plugs that are there. We gotten one harvest off of these this year. I don't think anything more is going to come, but next year we're definitely going to get more. Now this isn't what we're going to be doing with this whole patch. I'm just kind of setting them here. So they can grow, but I guess we're gonna do the rest of this by tomorrow and show you all how we do it, right? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little process, but you'll see it's easy. That we've been growing as you can see they're doing pretty good i think i let them go a couple days too long but it's all right we're going to eat some of these tonight i believe hopefully but what's really important is the fact that i'm going to show you how to create that mushroom patch that we did with the hardwood sawdust yesterday got some good growth on this but what you want to do is when you take fresh mushrooms and you want to grow the same ones you take a bucket of rainwater and you make sure it's rainwater and you let them sit in it overnight and what this does is collect the spores 
and when you spread the water then over the hardwood sawdust that you put down, by next year you'll have a beautiful mushroom patch of whatever you threw down. So I'm told at least, we're gonna find out, right? Pretty, right? Now I know I'm not doing this properly. I would say this is my first time ever trying to do this process. Um, I'm using a sharp knife and hopefully I can remove all this flesh before I do the soak that I need to do on it. But yeah, don't judge me. <laughs> I'm just doing the best with what I got right now and kind of attempting this. But what I plan on doing is making a drum out of this hide, out of this pelt. So only if I can get this flesh off. I've been told and everything I've researched says this is a long process and a tedious one and I am finding that to be exactly true without the proper tools, tools at least. Never. I'll get it though. So some of that deer that we pro that I processed the other day is going to go in the smoker and we're going to have a few people over and enjoy some of this amazing venison. Wow, it looks amazing. I hope it's amazing. Cooking inside is proving to be a little bit difficult when filming because Jess refuses to allow me to show you the catastrophe that we have as our tool shed and slash living space. <laughs> it's hard when everything we own from our 38 foot camper is in our 10 foot by, what is this, 16 foot tool shed along with our tools. So, sorry about the tight angles, but we are cooking those mushrooms we grew up. The venison is smelling delicious and I can't wait to show you what we're eating today. What is done? Just had a rough day at work today. It's busy, so luckily we have a friend in the background helping us cook tonight. <laughs> it wasn't a rough day. It was just a busy one. It was a busy one. I'm really sore. <laughs> a lot of muscle groups. I work there. The dinner work. will be good. It is hard work, isn't it? These golden oyster mushrooms look delicious. They really do. I'm not gonna lie, I, I ate one raw today. How are they? Delicious. Mushrooms, mashed potatoes, baked beans, and venison. That's it.
Sarah, we skimped on the vegetable. I'm going to try these mushrooms real quick. I know, I'm ready to try the mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> I told everyone earlier, but they wish they were here with us right now. <laughs> I guarantee you, you wish you were all with us right now. This is delicious, honey. Oh, good. But I skinned, processed, and smoked this meat. I am very proud of it. I'm so proud of you, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to eat by the fire. Okay. Eat that. How did you do that? I wanted more light. He's got a little pump sprayer <laughs> with lamp oil pump, pump it out his hand. You didn't do that. The mushrooms were excellent. Weren't they? Like I can't oh, wait God. to grow so many more mushrooms now. That was those were so good. I know, they were really You're good. Sure. They tasted like a portobello mixed with a clam. You think so? That's mm -hmm. what I think. Okay. Yep. I definitely taste like clam and portobello in there. Exactly they were really good. Watch out, baby girl. Out yep, of it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> they don't like the water being sprayed out. <laughs> Once you've let the mushrooms sit in the rainwater overnight, you want to take a either a spray bottle or a little squirt cannon to suck up the rainwater and spread it all around the sawdust. These spores will then inoculate this area and next year the plan is hopefully we'll have a whole bunch of golden oyster mushrooms we're really getting into mushrooms and cultivating them and learning about their medicinal properties um, it's actually fascinating to me it is really interesting right <laughs> yeah the more you learn though and I mean the more we try them they're so delicious too oh, they, were, they were amazing weren't they, they were so good uh. <laughs> I feel like we're gonna have like so many here now. There's like I a hope lot so. of spores going, yeah. The mycelium mm -hmm. will definitely spread and just overtake this whole thing if this works. I don't see why it won't. The information comes from a very credible source. <laughs> We know everybody expected to see a Dun Deck this week, but I promise you, so did we. <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> you know, we, we ran into some unforeseen uh, things happening that caused a little bit of a setback. Great way to start off the week. The big problem. So we're going to have to jack up the, this side of the box as it's kind of slouching down into the center. We're going to shim it and then drop it back down. Hopefully. <laughs> I don't know why it sunk either though, but let's hope that it's done sinking. When we decided to jack up the deck, we really took, you know, the previous week and a half to observe the, the situation and the problem, make sure no other parts of the deck sank because it was just one part of it. And then on upon further investigation, um, when we started building that berm, we never finished it and water was sitting right there at the bottom of, of that post. Well, yeah, we got a lot of rain yeah, that we, night. Right. Hard so rain. And we saw the puddle up. And but uh, good to see it now than whenever the dome was on top of it. Absolutely. All these 
pro this problem we had, this big problem, not all of these, but this one really big one, right. um, there is some, some good news and a happy ending to that story. There definitely is. Today? Awesome. Amazing. Thank you so much. The, the, the dome's on the way. <laughs> yes. This just made our day get a whole lot less stressful because we know it's coming. Oh, Jess is going to be so happy. Even though we've had a lot of issues these past few weeks, um, I'm, we're still pretty happy and in good spirits because the dome is coming. You know, it's the best news we could have heard and it's kind of putting a fire under our butts to get this deck done. So we're going to keep moving forward and stay strong. I'm so proud of you this week. <laughs> <Thanks>. <laughs> I am. Um, Thank you. Yes. You spanned up and done a lot and taken care of a lot for us and I'm just real proud of you. Thank you. So, <laughs> all right, everyone. We will see you next time. We love you and remember to keep growing. Oh, if you had, drop a comment down below, please. It really does help the, the video get uh, noticed. It, it helps out the channel. So it and helps our spirits. It does. <laughs> <laughs> we love hearing from all of you as well. So, all right. Now we'll see you next time and to keep growing. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Kita, stay out of there. <laughs> oh, okay. And really quick, we wanted to give a special thank you to everybody who's been sending us things from Dave, Shannon, Audrey. So many people have been so supportive of us and we truly are grateful for this. We will be featuring a lot of the things that were sent to us in some of the future videos as we use them. So if we have, if you have sent us something and we haven't shown it on camera yet, please don't take offense. We will get to it. Um, we're just yeah, gonna, it's coming. It's coming. <laughs> yeah, we so, love everything. We do. Know, we love all everything. It's us so much and we love you guys. So we have, we actually, we haven't gotten one thing that hasn't been useful. That's, that's, that's the sure. truth. So, <laughs> all right. See you later. Love you.